Hello Stock Stalkers, welcome back to the channel. Firstly, I would like to thank each and every member and subscriber of this channel. When I started this journey, I never knew I would get this kind of overwhelming response. Especially when I started memberships on this channel, I was a bit skeptical. But the way people have joined my membership, it clearly shows they like my content, they are learning and they are making money. Once again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much for your love and support. In today's video, let's discuss some stocks that are looking positive. But first, as usual, let's analyze the market index. I'm on the weekly chart of Dubai Financial Market Index. This is looking very positive. We are on a crazy bull run as of now. As I mentioned earlier, this zone is support area. Right here, we can see 4040 is holding perfectly fine. We saw some good bounce from this zone and now index is ready to go higher. Let me go down to daily to analyze further. We can see a nice pump or we can see a push from this zone that is 4040 market spent at least four to five days here and then we saw a big move as of now we are seeing similar kind of reaction market is taking a pause as i mentioned next resistance area is 4100 it crossed and now it's taking a pause or hold right near the resistance area that is 4100 well most likely what we can see is continuation to the upside momentum next target is 4156 to 4160 this is next resistance till the time index is now above 4080 area it's safe but at the same time, if it wants to come back to retest this area, it would be still considered positive. We can expect upside momentum from here. Overall, DFM index is very bullish. Let's also analyze Abu Dhabi security index. I'm on the weekly chart. We are looking at the higher time frame. We can see a bit of weakness, but overall it's still positive. We can see a breach of this trend line. Previously, we can see this trend line was acting as a support. And now it have broken this support with this solid red candle volumes were also very high but the best part is it's taking a bounce right near the support area that was previously a resistance that is at 9720 to 9725 points this is still looking positive coming week we want to see bullish candle let me go down to daily to analyze further here we can see it's trying to climb up but we are seeing a rejection candle last candle is very negative in friday's session we saw some selling pressure i had also updated in the community market would be bumpy what we saw is market was slowly and steadily climbing up but during the day profit booking started and it closed negative so far it's looking still positive but now we want to see a close above 9800 points to call it bullish this is still looking interesting to me there are good chances it can come back to retest this zone and then we can see new leg to the upside immediate resistance as i mentioned stands at 9800 area once we see a candle close with good volumes above this level this will be considered bullish and from here we can expect it to continue its new rally to the upside next resistance around this area that is 9900 and then most likely we would revisit 10,000 points Overall, ADX index is still bullish, but as of now, it's showing some signs of weakness. It should not break this support area that is 9720. This would create a negative scenario. We can expect more downside momentum if this is broken. Hopefully, we don't see this scenario. Coming week, we want to see bulls flexing their muscles. Let's check out some stocks. Many of you have requested for Imar properties. This is the daily chart. We saw this trend line was acting as support. We were seeing good buying pressure whenever it was coming near this trend line. Lastly, when this candle was printed, I had mentioned Imar properties is now looking weaker. It can come down for a retest. Thankfully, we saw good buying pressure right into our support zone and then we saw a bullish candle. I was still skeptical about this one as I had mentioned. Once it gets back above this trend line, we will consider this bullish. I'm not sure if you have seen my previous analysis. We are seeing rejection right near the trend line that was previously acting as support. This is now resistance. Well, there are good chances. If in Monday's session we can see a gap up opening, then we can say buyers are active and it can start to climb up. We will only try to buy this one once it crosses 7.10, else there are chances it can go sideways or come down to retest the support that is near 6.75. So this stock should be in your stocking list. Once it shows us good buying pressure, this should be our signal to enter. And then I have Salik. This is the daily chart. After the dividends, price got adjusted. We saw a gap down opening. It have taken a bounce from the support area. We are seeing good buying pressure here. This was our first indication. Bulls are active. As of now, it's still not ready for a buy. I would wait for a cross above 3.37 and then my next target is around 3.50. 
Salik is also looking bullish. Union Properties is also looking very interesting at current levels. But before I forget, many of you have sent me WhatsApp message asking me how to join my membership. Well, it's very simple. You don't have to deposit any money into my account. All you have to do is visit the homepage on my YouTube channel, click the join button, select the option that suits you best and then you can join my membership. Once you have joined, you will see playlist here. Click on the playlist. You can see the members only videos. Watch out my live trades, how I take my entries, exit and how I book my profits. Also, you will see my stock suggestions on daily basis. Union Properties is looking very interesting. As I just mentioned, we can see a good bounce from the support. If in Monday's session, we can see a gap up opening, there are good chances. It will retest 0 0.420. And then once we see good volumes after it breaks this resistance, there are good chances we can retest 0 0.430 area as well. Next is Air Arabia. I had recommended this stock in my members video. We are on daily chart right after the breakout. I had recommended this stock has started its fresh rally to the upside after hitting 2.96. It's now correcting itself. There are good chances it can take a bounce from 2.89 to 2.91 area and then we can see continuation to the upside. Overall, Air Arabia is very bullish. Gulf Financial House is still struggling right at the support zone. This is in a no trading zone. We will wait for a bullish candle to show us confirmation that buyers are now active. They are buying, but still it's not looking good for entry. There are good chances it can break the support. So we will wait for a perfect entry. Let's wait for a green candle with good volume to indicate that bulls are now active and people are buying this stock. For now, avoid this one. Aldar Properties, after making this big move to the upside, as of now, it's taking a pause right near the resistance. Just in case if you have missed this move, do not worry. This is the resistance area that is between 5.35 to 5.40 area. Previously, we can see it was resistance. It's still intact. We are seeing some selling pressure. I would be only interested in buying Aldar Properties once it breaks this resistance with good volumes. Let it retest this zone with good volumes and then we can expect upside momentum. Previously, we saw when it was trying to break this resistance, many people entered right at the top and then we saw strong rally to the downside. So we do not want similar kind of reaction. We will only enter once we have a confirmation. Buyers are breaking this resistance. We wait for a retest and then enter the trade. So Aldar goes into our stocking list. Multiply is looking very interesting. I had recommended this stock in my members video as well. I hope everyone have made money. Now it's approaching the resistance. Be very careful. Do not enter right at the top. There are good chances it may hit resistance and come down. So let's be very careful. But at the same time, there is still juice remaining. If you want to enter, quick entry and exit should be planned. Q holding in Friday's session, it could not survive the gains. This is a strong resistance, 3.85. With Friday's closing, this is looking a bit tricky. I would wait for a retest of this area that is around 3.70 or let it break the resistance so that we can take fresh entries. But overall, Q holding is in an uptrend. Rack Properties is also looking good. I'm on daily chart as of now. After this strong momentum to the upside, it found resistance around 1.30 and then it's correcting itself. This is a good formation. This chart pattern looks very good to me. It will first retest 1.26 and then climb higher. Overall, this is also one of the bullish stock in ADX market. Americana, after the breakout of this resistance that is at 4.25, it went up but could not sustain the gains. Also, it have broken the previous resistance that should potentially act as a support. If it does not hold at current levels, there are good chances it can retest 4.15 and then we wait for a buying signal to enter the trade. For now, this is in a no trading zone. And then Fertiglobe is looking very weak. This is a strong rally to the upside and now we are seeing correction. Now, notice something. Correction is very deeper. It did not take a pause about 50% of this rally. So it clearly indicates bulls are not interested to hold their positions. We can expect a retest of this area that is 3.45. This is also in a no trading zone. We wait for a breakout of this strong resistance that is at 3.56 area right here. Once we see a bullish candle, this would be our indication that fresh rally have started. And many of you have requested for Manazil. This is looking weaker. Previously, we were waiting for a breakout to the upside. That is the reason we were not taking any positions. When a stock is in a range, we wait for a breakout. I was expecting a breakout to the upside. I was watching this stock very closely. And then negative news appeared in the market. We saw tremendous selling pressure breaking the support area. This was a good indication. Now people have started to sell and now we are seeing a strong rally to the downside. So what can be this scenario now? This is a strong support area that is around 
0.455 to 0.560. If we see a bounce, this will just indicate us that now it's taking a pause. Still, this is not ready for a buy. Overall, we can see selling pressure. We will wait for a bullish price action to buy Manazil. For now, this is in a no trading zone. Watch out carefully. And then Dana is looking interesting. This was also a recommended stock in my members video. We saw this is the rejection area right here at around 0.980. Once it came back for a retest at the support zone I had recommended. We saw a strong momentum to the upside after a small correction. We are seeing fresh buying in Friday session. I do not want to see a gap down opening in Monday session. This would indicate buyers are not aggressive. I would like to see a flat opening or a small gap up to consider this can go higher. Next resistance is around 0.980. Well, at this time there are good chances it can also climb higher. Long term target should be 1.0. Adno Grilling have already achieved the targets. Those who took the trades, congratulations if you made money, I am happy for you. Right at the breakout I had recommended this stock we saw a strong momentum to the upside. Target was 4.25 to 4.30 area. I had already mentioned this in my members video and now it's correcting from here. You should be able to identify where is support and resistance so that you can plan your trades accordingly. So in case if you have missed this move to the upside, wait for a correction till about 4.06 to 4.05. We wait for a bullish candle to see a price action and then we buy this one. For now, even Adnock Drilling is in a no trading zone. Wait and watch. So guys, I hope this video was helpful. For more updates like this, subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Keep stalking.